Shall we unveil the wax figure now? Who wants to see the wax figure of Patriona Gray? Woo! Eric, could I have you back on stage for the official unveiling? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's count down together to unveil. Are you ready? Let's count down all together. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, we have the wax figure of Catriona Gray. Woo! First, I would like to invite Eric and Catriona to first take a picture with the wax figure. All right, thank you so much, Eric. Now we will leave Catriona to take some pictures with your twin. How do you feel, Kat? Have you ever wanted a twin? I've always wanted a sibling, guys, but I guess I'll take the next best thing. <laughs> I was actually joking with my parents. Hi, mom and dad, if you're watching. I miss you. Um, but my dad was like, can I borrow her <laughs> and bring her to Australia so she, she can stand in the house for a little while? Um, but guys, when I actually saw her for the first time, can I just say, I was just like stopped in my tracks because it's a really strange sensation to see a replica of yourself. Um, but that's just a testament to how amazing a job Madame Tussauds did with my figure. I'm so, so happy. And what I really appreciate too is throughout the whole process, the team would always get in touch with me. Um, even my team, who was a part of my original um, team getting ready for the competition to check um, for any revisions or any thoughts that we had to improve the wax figure. So she's signed off by me and Team Catriona. Um, <laughs> And just such an honor, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all being a part of this moment. It's really, really special. It's incredible. It's like having a mirror. And I think if you don't move, I I, I, I'd be like, Kat, Kat where, where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> I was making a joke. I can leave early and she can take my job. <laughs> can we get an extra mic? for? <laughs> can you share with us the process? I know it took you know, quite a, a long time. And I heard it took like six to nine months to actually go through the entire process. Yeah, some people are asking, so how did we come to decide on her look, her pose? Um, so this was obviously the idea was conceptualized um, mid rain So there was no farewell look yet. Um, so it was kind of a no brainer, I think in my mind to have the lava gown because not only is it the winning look, but it also carries so much representation for me. Um, just a little bit of trivia for those who might not know. I know our fellow Filipinos do, but uh, the lava gown was inspired by my mother's hometown in Philippines called Albay, which is the home to the Mount Mayon volcano, a perfect cone-shaped volcano. And um, my mom, when I was younger, had a dream. <laughs> when I was around 12, 13 years old, where my mom, she loved Miss Universe, but at that age, I had no interest in pageants yet, um, but she had come to me one morning. She was like, sweetie, I had a dream that you were in Miss Universe in a red dress. And I was just like, okay, mom. <laughs> I hadn't, I was just, I brushed it off. But when I earned the right to represent my country of the Philippines nationally, and I was working with Maktumang to come up with the concept for the, the gown, I, I remembered my mom and I said, it has to be red. We can brainstorm any design, but it has to be red. And so that's really the story of the gown. And then the lava walk was a little bit of an Easter egg for the fans. It's, it's kind of a fan thing that we do to name the walk of our representatives. And the lava walk really just ties in with the whole look. And that's really the story behind it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And you know what? The 